is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to you on a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know I got some new merchandise available, not just t-shirt anymore. I got different type of t-shirt, different type of shirts and logo that you can purchase on my spread shirt and also hoodies now. We have expanded and added more to the channel and more merchandise for the brand. Thanks for supporting. It will be in the description and the links will be in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me and supporting the movement. Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis. I'm going to check out the video. What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis. We lose Kyrie, a guy that was so phenomenal for us. Even in the good, the bad, and the ugly, we get Kimba Walker is supposed to sign a four-year, $141 million deal. As everybody that follow this channel, and if you're new to the channel, I am a Celtics fan, has been a Celtics fan for many years. And this move, I don't like. I, I don't like this move, and uh, people are not going to like that I said that, but this move is not the move we needed to make. I didn't have a problem with just running the team through Hayward and obviously Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. And we could have drafted some some different players in the NBA draft, and we got a lot of guys that play the same position. I think Danny Ainge is up to something. Like, we've seen him um, sign Al Horford, and we're like, okay, that's a good move, but it ain't going to take us over the hump. Next me, you know, he clears cap space for Gordon Hayward. He clears cap space to trade for Kyrie Irving. And... We ended up getting Horford, Hayward, and Kyrie. Obviously, Kyrie missed the whole playoffs. Gordon Hayward missed the whole season. And if that doesn't happen, we probably wouldn't even be in the situation where we lose Horford and Kyrie. But it happens in sports. Um, it's unfortunate. i still devastated by that because I feel that we had a legitimate chance of beating Cleveland to go to the finals. And who knows what would have happened. Just like we've seen this year in the finals with Golden State getting beat by Toronto with injuries. If, if they didn't get injured, they would have lost. And we all know that. But it happens, and that's what happened to my Celtics. We get three big free agents, got a semi-big three. If you count the age of Al Horford, he wasn't at his peak powers, but he was still good enough to be in that discussion. And now we hear what our biggest free agent sign is going to be Kimball Walker. We don't really have cap space to really add another piece that can really take us back to that top. But what I will say, like I said in the beginning, is – we have a lot of young players. We have a lot of picks. We just added more assets through the draft, even though I don't like all of the fits on this team. I think Danny Ainge is up to something. I did not see Danny Ainge trading for Kyrie. Nobody did. We knew he was available, but we didn't know he was going to the Celtics. Even Adrian Wojnarowski wasn't even throwing those rumors out. And next thing you know, he comes available. Celtics make the trade, and we got Kyrie. Now, I ain't going to lie, even though I don't like this move because I don't really, I'm not the biggest Kimba fan. I have made a breakdown on Kimba Walker. I feel like he has changed his game. He has improved. He is a leader. He is a good hard worker. He is a great teammate. But at the same time, he's only going to take us so far. Kimba been in the playoffs, I believe, twice in his whole career as the best player on the team. Yeah, he has more help and more support on the Celtics with athleticism. He can he has guys that can switch a lot. He has a lot of perimeter help. He has more better floor spacing as the team is currently constructed. But he knows Danny Ainge will go out his way to add and acquire talent to make this a top-level team in the East. And that's something that the Charlotte Hornets couldn't do. They couldn't hit their draft picks. They tried to trade for Dwight Howard and Batum, but they was mediocre at best. And they didn't even make the playoffs that year anyway. So... At least he got an organization that wants to win, that's about winning, and will do things, even like we've seen with Isaiah Thomas, that will possibly better the team, whether the fans or the people like it or not. Danny Ainge is cold-blooded. Whatever it takes for him to get to a title, he's willing to do it. And he has shown that good, bad, and ugly, but he still is our GM, so we can't hate on him because that's what we got, regardless if we like him or not. But what I will say is he got something else up his sleeve. He cleared a lot of cap space. He made Kimba a priority. He got Kimba to commit. So something is going on. I do expect Gordon Hayward to be a lot better. We seen as the months went on, he started getting a lot more balance. He started showing that playmaking ability. He started showing that ability to score in isolation a lot more. So I'm looking happy a little bit for that. Um, it's going to be hard to move out of that Gordon Hayward contract because we don't know what he's going to be. And he's getting paid over $30 million. And that was a guy that we felt could be 
the future of this franchise for the next couple of years because we gave him a four-year deal. And obviously, we got the bad end of that missing the whole season, had an okay year this year, and now we in a situation where we got two years left and nobody wants his contract. So it's tough to be a Celtics fan right now to lose Kyrie and Gord Hayward and just get Kimball Walker. It do sound depressing. It do sound crazy. And I'm not that ecstatic and excited about the Kimball Walker signing because I do think he can be a second or third option on a championship team. The problem is getting a guy that's the number one option. That's going to be the problem. How are we going to find the number one option to go along with Kimba? We don't want Kimba just to come here and help us get to the playoffs and just get put out in the first or second round every year because that's what it looks like we're headed with the roster we have right now. So as a Celtics fan, I'm a little bit more optimistic. I think Danny Ainge got something up his sleeve. He cleared a lot of cap space. He held on to some assets, and he, he has some type of idea of what he's trying to do that we don't know. And I don't want to believe it because I didn't see us getting Kyrie when he became available and we got him quickly. And it didn't work out the way we wanted to. And you could say that a lot of that was karma doing Isaiah Thomas dirty, put us in that situation where we lose Gordon Hayward, then we lose Kyrie, and then he walks away. Then we lose Horford, and we don't even get a chance to go to the finals after all those moves we made that summer. So you can say it's karma. We deserved it for how we did Isaiah Thomas. It came back and bit us. But we got to move on from that. So I do, I like the team as constructed, but I, I like it more as assets. We got a lot of guys that's going to be leaving. They gave Terry Rozier unrestrictedness, which means he can sign with whoever he wants to. So it looks like he's going to be gone, which we didn't really need him anyway because he didn't. He wasn't really happy. And knowing that we was going to get Kimba means he was going to come off the bench where he can possibly be a starter or even get more minutes somewhere else. So I'm not going to diss Terry Rozier. He played hard. He gave us his all. And now it's just time for him to do what's best for him and his family and his career. And I understand that. Kyrie, I have no ill will towards him either. Because at the end of the day, we traded for him. He never said he wanted to go to Boston. He never said he wanted to come to Boston. We took that gamble to trade with him. He, he ended up missing the whole season. This year, he didn't play well in the playoffs, which is unfortunate. And it didn't work out for him. It didn't work out for us. And I think this is a perfect time to just move on. I'm not mad or depressed about it. I just feel like it didn't work. We wasn't on the same page. And he, he, he wants to go somewhere else. Plus, he didn't get us to where we had to go. And Gordon Hayward ain't the same. And we lose an Al Horford anyway. So what's the point of locking him up when he's injured a lot and he missed the finals before? And we don't really know what's going on with those knees. At least we know that Kimba Walker is more healthier. He's more dependable. He has a better personality for this team. And he's going to work as hard as he can. And we've seen Isaiah Thomas and Kyrie work in Brad Steven offense. So I don't see a problem with Kimba doing it. Kimba coming off his best season playing as hard as he can, giving maximum effort, fighting, dropping 60. He's a guy that has the heart of a lion. Even when you've seen him in college, he gave it his all, and that's why they won the championship. So Kimba has a fighter mentality, a warrior mentality, a never-settle mentality. And if we want somebody for the young players, if we want somebody that can really go out there and give us his all each and every night, Kimba Walker is one of the very few people that do that um, as much as he can. So I'm not going to be upset. I just want to see... What else is going to happen? I'm just, we ain't did enough. And as a Celtics fan, I'm used to us winning. I'm not making the playoffs. I'm used to us winning titles. And we haven't really been doing that much with Danny Ainge as the GM. He got us to the finals twice in 08 and 2010. We haven't been there since. And we want to get back there. And Danny Ainge has done some things that people like and dislike, but we got to figure out a way to have a chance to win a title. Go to stay gone. LeBron is aging. I'm not big on the Lakers bandwagon because LeBron wasn't the same last year. And I'm looking at other teams in the East. We're not that far or we one move away from being just as good as they are. Plus, a lot of the guys like the Bucks, like the Philly, have a lot of free agents. So they might not even be the best team or they might not even be able to bring back the same team. And even if they do, we can still make another move to be on a level or better. So we in a situation where we got to wait and see. It's unfortunate because you want to see it. Right away, we ain't got the patience, but we don't have a choice. We got to, and Danny Ains, we trust. And it's unfortunate, but that's the reality of being a Celtics fan right now. We don't know what's going to happen. We'd rather have Kimba than nobody, but we are committing a lot of money. Other than that, Kimba is a great player, all-star, all-NBA player for a reason. So we, we just have to wait and see what happens, and that's going to be the frustrating part because we don't know, and we want to know. 
but we're not going to get it until it happens. So let me know what you guys think. Is picking up Kimba good deal, bad deal? Do you agree with it? Do you think we should have got somebody else? Do you think it was somebody out there better? Do you think that we should never use a cap space on Kimba and just try to rebuild on the fly? They call it retooling. Or do you feel like Kimba is a great fit? Just like Isaiah Thomas and Kyrie, Brad Stevens going to find a way to make it work. And if you add another piece, we can be back in a championship contention. That's the way I'm thinking. Whatever you think, let me know in the comment section below. And at the end of the day, if you're a Celtics fan, keep our head up. Ain't nothing we can do as fans but watch. And that's what every other fan doing in every other organization. I'm not too happy, not too mad, not depressed, not anxious. I'm just waiting and seeing and trying to be as calm as I can to watch what happens for the rest of free agency for the rest of the free agency for the Celtics. So let me know what you guys think. I'm gone. Check out my Facebook page, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description, comment section below. Check out my website, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description, comment section below. Thanks for everybody that likes on Facebook. Thanks for everybody that likes the videos. Thanks for everybody that comments. I like the activity that you guys have shown. I answered comments that made sense. If that makes sense, and also at the end of the day, if you like this video, check out my older videos on my channel. I have many playlists. I break down rookies. I break down players. I break down summer league. I do cover the draft, and I got a mock draft up already. Not only that, I do podcasts, and I also talk about the game of basketball, whether it comes to summer league, free agency, trade deadline, buyouts, and also I cover top 10 discussions and stuff like that. So you like this type of video, you like the NBA, check out my older videos and my playlists. I enjoy making these videos. You guys enjoy watching. I'm gone.